Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, please check out the description box as always. A bunch of useful links. Follow us on Twitter, Discord, all that stuff. Uh, also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Otherwise, let's just keep going. So what I want to do today is something cool. Now we did fix all this Estes Flash stuff. Uh, I want to make sure we can use them. But I do want to add a nice way to make a little bar, right? A, a kind of a progress bar for EXP, HP, all that stuff. So it makes it a little easier to see what the hell's going on. So I thought actually I'd make it in GUI. Um, and I'm just going to put it here. Uh, and this will make it so we can give it some type of values. And it will make a bar, a progress bar out of these. And this could be kind of cool for you guys that are making games like this uh, to have. Uh, so I'm just going to send a string. Uh, and then progress bar const unsigned uh, and we might just give it an int const int um, value 1 value minimum const int value max so this would be for example your exp exp max right and then the const char symbol m D, and then const char symbol full. And I'm gonna make sure that I use underscore here because I like doing that in uh, value min max symbol empty symbol full whatever. We'll we'll work on this as we go along. I like using underscores for um, local variables, so I'm pretty much doing that. Uh, and then I did create it here, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, uh, as usual, we're just going to do std string string stream ss return ss.str. All right, and here we go. So now I want to do create a progress bar. Now we have two values. Say that we have exp min and exp max. Now I want to create something out of uh, a, a bar out of these two values. So and then I'm gonna, I also need a max number of values. So let's add that as well. Value max, const int max length. Okay, so it, the bar doesn't become really long, right? We don't want it to be really, really long. So let's just say max length. We'll keep it like that. Now max length will be the max number of symbol length for the bar. Um, so let's see. What I want to do, I just want to do int percent. So first, I want to calculate the percentage, and I'll actually do that as a float, a percentage, or a double. Actually, uh, short. Well, we'll just call it. We'll just be keep it as double. So double uh, value min and max. And usually, when you calculate this, you want to do a static cast to double. All right, and then you want to do value minimum, and then you want to divide that with value max. So you'll get a percentage in float, okay? And that's good. Now we have max length. Um, we need to know how many symbols. Symbols full will be how many symbols we want to have. Um, we'll just call it symbols equals max length multiplied by um, this percent that I just calculated so we'll get how many symbols we want okay and then we're gonna have int symbols empty equals max length minus symbols so basically this is how many full symbols in the bar how many empty symbols in the bar I guess that just doesn't make sense a lot but still this is the this is basically this plus this will be the full bar okay now SS I'm gonna create some type of a bar thing here std string and then I'm gonna do this I'm gonna say sim and then uh, symbol full 
Okay. And then std string uh, symbols empty symbol empty. So don't mix these up. You want to make sure these are the same. And I probably don't want a new line after that. I'll just do a thing like this. Uh, so this will be my total progress bar and I'll return that as is. So create the calculate the percentage, calculate how many symbols there should be depending on the max length of the bar. Um, and then we'll get a number maybe like 4, right? For 40% we'll have pretty much, if this is 10, right, we'll probably have 4, uh, something like that. Um, and then the empty ones would be 6. So I do want to print this out. Uh, percent just as a debug uh, symbols symbols full I just want to make sure these are symbols full all right symbols full symbols full space symbols empty and then a new line and that's it. And we can just comment this out if we don't want it to bug out. Now, if I go into character, after a level, probably here I want an exp bar, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a GUI, GUI, um, progress bar, this exp, that's for the minimum, this exp max or next, all right? Then I'm going to say I want it 10 long. Also, the symbol for empty is going to be just a little line. And the symbol for full is going to be a full thingy like that. And then I do have an extra space here. Probably don't want that. But I probably do want... Or no, I think it takes care of that itself. So we'll just try this out. You know what? It might not work where it might work. But this will be a cool little thing you can add to anything. And I do want this for... Just about my all, all my other stuff as well, EXP and stuff. It's easy to see if you have a bar. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Level. Um, this is just a debug. So 50 is the percentage. No, that's 5. Shouldn't be there. Um, just to make it clear for us. Let's just add a new line after level for now. And let's see. Okay, that made it a lot clearer. So 35%, about 36% about. Uh, this is about 36%. But then we just round it off. And we don't round it up. It just cuts the rest off. So that's pretty much what happens. And that's that's cool, I guess. doesn't really matter. Uh, this is kind of clear. If you want a correct calculation, you probably want to remove. Or you probably round up and make sure you... Um, yeah. Yeah, just round up. And you should get one more little dot here, probably. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how that works. And it looks pretty cool. So if we remove all the debug stuff and the new line here, it should look pretty much pretty nice. So just comment that out. Keep that as debug. Debug print. And this is the actual print. Percentage. Okay round let's see I think you need to include CMath for round round uh, I guess I'll check that out later I just don't really remember the math functions for now right now uh, but yeah at least that works am I yeah I'm pretty much pretty much good so that looks cool let's just look at it without the extra fluff and everything let's see we load it and boom we got a nice little progress bar right there and it looks pretty much sweet, doesn't it? It looks really nice. I like that. So if we just travel, who's the oh perfect? So if I just do that, I get some exp, and you'll see that the bar shifted. So now I got a lot more exp here. And once it once it's at max, we will uh, yeah, pretty much we will just uh, have that looking real nice over here, real real nice. Stat points, HP. We can get a bar for HP as well. If we would want to do that, 
um, just to show you how to do that all you need to do is go into characters CPP and you just copy paste this progress bar let's create a new progress bar right here at HP I don't know if I want to put it before or after probably before uh, I'll say this HP this HP max and I'll say 100 and maybe maybe the same format and we'll just run this and it should return a nice little progress bar for me for HP so I got full HP and look at that just look at that that looks that looks awesome that looks great and then if I were to travel to fine I got some EXP travel again uh, travel again enemy turn alright so let's see I'll probably lose some HP here and then uh, let's see if I attack some of these goons missed alright you know what I'll lose some more HP that's fine zero escape we'll see my HP went down and the bar kinda handled itself okay so that is that's beautiful that's that's great I really I really like that if you wanna change the symbols all you have to do is just change these symbols here and it should look different if you want it to be a lot longer you can do that for more precision you can have a hundred long I guess that'll look crazy but we'll see uh, yeah that is that's insane so yeah this will kinda be exactly how you want it to be uh, yeah so thank you guys and girls thanks for all the support thank you for sticking with me I hope this was cool we'll keep working on the flasks and healing and stuff in the next one and uh, yeah keep working towards finishing the series which has been going for so long for like two years <laughs> so it's, it's insane just about two two years right yeah probably uh, August of 2016 but yeah thank you so much I hope you're learning stuff some of these videos are slow I know and tedious and stuff but it, it, we're building upon it it's kind of slowly building upon this game uh, piece by piece so it's almost like a long stream of creating this game right and, and sometimes it's new stuff sometimes it's tedious I know and I'm really sorry about that but I'll, I'll do my best to make these videos interesting uh, but thank you again for all the support Keep learning, keep working hard. Check out the description box, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.